Hello everyone, or no one yet. Doing some unboxing per the norm. Making sure my comments are up. How's everyone doing? It is Thursday. My uh, kiddos are at grandma's house, which is lovely. And I love it. Um, and so it because of that, yeah, getting my live chat up here just in case anybody comes in. Spending some time unboxing some things for this weekend. So just figured I'd go live, see if anybody wants to pop in and say hello or not. You can just hear me rant about this stuff. Last week was kind of, Elizabeth, hey boo boo, how are you? I, it was, it was a mess. I was like running late. So I was unboxing things as my stream was starting. This didn't get onto it, it happened. So I'm trying to be more prepared this week. I don't know if I didn't see that. Ooh, knocking this sideways. Um, woo! Popping bubbles up in here. Now these, I thought these were some stands. I got some of those um lit stands, crystal stands. And so I what I didn't open these last week. Because that's what I thought it was. And I figured I had stands on the table already. I'd get to these later. That's not what these are. And I might just open one and leave the rest kind of wrapped up for now. So y'all can see. Of course, I don't know. They're all different. So maybe I shouldn't do that. Hmm. But they're packed so well. All right, here we go. Can you guess? What that is by the sound, probably not. Ooh, look at it, untwirl. That was magical. <laughs> I got little uh, agate wind chimes. This is so lovely. And I wouldn't suggest putting these like out in a super windy area, but these would be so beautiful in a window, like hanging above your kitchen sink. That's kind of how I envisioned it. Oh, I really like this one. Yet another thing that I'm going to end up keeping for myself. There's a bunch here. Well, let's see. I got five, I think. Five total sets. Isn't that awesome? I know. I'm going to... Those are in another box. So I had... This was just the last thing in the box that I opened last week. Okay. All right. So I might just have to kind of uh, do some intuitive choosing. I hate that term. But let me set those down over here. I'll set the rest over there because I don't want them to get all open and untangled right now they're all nicely packaged this is how they come just sealed in a bag all nicely stacked and everything Ooh, that one's got a cool piece on the bottom all right well that was the end of that box that I was obviously mistaken about all right so let's get into something I don't know where to start let me do this one so this actually was from that milk and sugar place. Um, and if I'm giving an honest review, it's a mixed so far. I've had some stuff in them that I really like and uh, some stuff not so much. Um, this is the last order I made. I know, right? Made of stones? Who wouldn't like that? Oh, this is the ring. Okay. I, <laughs> I ordered this ring twice. <laughs> I didn't mean to. I bought one from the last sale and then she had another one during another sale and then I bought it again. And then I got my first shipment. I was like, oh yeah. I have already purchased that. Whoops. So what I'm going to do is probably put one of these up for sale. They're little druzy rings. I just thought they're really pretty. I don't typically like dyed quartz, which this is. But um, it's got like a little dyed blue dye to it. But it's not overly saturated, so it's kind of like an icy blue that I'm, I'm digging. It's also adjustable. But this is the second one, so I don't know. I'm going to have to compare it to the other one I have and see. See if I like it or not. All right, no idea what that is. I can't remember if I got these to sell. Oh, and another one of these. They sent one of these last time, too, which is kind of cool. A little pendant. 
The other one was Snowflake Obsidian. This one is Tiger's Eye. This is just a freebie that she threw in there. So that's, that's nice. Throw that on the table. And what is this? No idea. I don't remember what I bought except one thing. I bought some. I bought a bear. Did I buy two? I think I bought two bears. Hey, Maury. Hello, hello. Welcome in. Maybe these are all for me. These are all for me. All right. Well, sorry, y'all. This is not a sneak peek in this bag, but I'll be getting to another one in a second here. Some needle cords. Ooh, it's kind of pinky. Oh, dang. One of them broke off. Oh, actually, a couple needles broke off. That one's loose. Well, they're pretty, though. <laughs> if nothing else. They have, like, a pink tinge to them. Which is pretty. Probably hematite. This one's loose, too. Sometimes they're just loose. That's not abnormal. Um, but I am kind of bummed that there's a couple that are not connected any longer. Because I'll just kind of stick them back in <laughs> the specimen. <laughs> Pretty though, right? I don't buy a ton of quartz anymore because I have so much of it. I try to be really like selective of what I buy. But the price was good. And I really like, they call these uh, needle quartz. Hey, Angela, hello. When they were like really tall and skinny like that. And I, I kind of like that stuff. So, all right, that was the second one. I'm sorry, you guys. These aren't, these are personal collection stuff. That one may end up for sale. I don't know. Although it is kind of, it's got that hematite stain to it, which is kind of pretty. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, and then really quick, these are the bears. I do believe, I think one of them is kind of damaged. I think one I got at a good price because it was, damaged but i can't remember is foot damage or something i don't know let's find out let's find out one of them is i think i got a case of all one lanite and then i don't remember what the other one is oh it was tiger's eye okay here's a little lanite there he's pretty and i like this material i just couldn't find it in a uh like a a carving or anything that I liked. I had bought a couple of towers a while back that I sold out of and I didn't keep one for myself because it wasn't calling to me. I don't know. But then I saw this bear. I was like, okay, that's it. That's what I need. I need the bear. So I got him. Oh, good. Yay. Thanks for letting me know that it made it to you. If you guys ever just want to like shoot me a message and tell me these things, I'd appreciate it. I, I don't mind getting told when things arrived, especially if you tell me how beautiful they are. Because if there's one thing I love, it's people who love stones as much as I do. Here's a little tiger's eye bear. But thanks for letting me know, Angela. That's awesome. Jonathan? Oh, Jonathan? Oh, hey, Eddie. Hi. Welcome in. Why are you saying Jonathan? Is he here? I can't see him on the screen. Patty! Hey! How are you feeling? Let me know how you're doing. I don't know why you're saying no Jonathan, boo-boo. But anywho. Okay, so those are the bears. Woo! Almost dropped it. All right, that was it out of that one. Okay, now let's get back to inventory. So I have, I, like, at risk of showing how messy my workspace is. Because I'm in a storage room. This box. And then I also have this box here. So we're going to open this one first. A lovely flat right ik elizabeth hello oh the bears we have that in common he does like the bears that's okay all righty here we go this is the stuff for sale sorry about that teaser in the beginning there and i think i think i know a lot of times i forget what i got but i know it's in this box Sister twin, feeling better. Oh, good. Doing a lot of resting. That's that's like, you know, all you can really do right now, right? Kind of just take it easy. Hopefully, you know, rest now so then later you can be the wild and crazy girl I know you are. So that you can get up and run amok. Don't, don't push recovery, you know what I'm saying? That's how you end up you know, injured again or whatever. 
Oh God, these are so gorgeous. All right, here I'm not gonna I'm not gonna open all of these on camera. Check it out. This is a raw copper specimen. How awesome is that? I do believe the way that they mine copper, and copper is it grows often in these dendritic patterns, also known as arborescence, where they kind of branch out like a tree, hence the arbor. Um, they will find it in material that they like dissolve with acids and then they preserve the actual copper specimens that way. Super duper cool. I have a few over here. We've got a bunch. I don't even know where to begin pricing these. Oh, that's so cool. Some I'm keeping. Check this one out. Look at that. Look at all the branching. That's awesome. It just looks like a gnarly bush. Oh, look at it. Look, it has a mouth. It's got a mouth. Ah, it's some sort of crazy copper beast. Love it. Okay, that's cool. Then another couple of these smaller pieces. Can you hear them? Doing their metal sounding kind of thing. So awesome. There's a lot here. I mean, and copper just like intrinsically has value because it's a metal, like a precious metal. Now these are going to be lightweight specimens. Um, it's not like copper bouillon or something like that. Still really cool. It almost looks like metal coral. <laughs> Apathy. <laughs> Did you? I missed it. Oh, I can't see it on my screen. It looks correct over here. <laughs> Did you fix it before you sent it? That too. What are you guys up to today? Where's everybody at? Ooh. All right, here's some more. Let's show you really briefly. Ooh. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool? Is like some sort of like a hairbread or something. That'd be neat. Look at that. See, I don't know if that's vertigree on there or if that's just like matrixing or whatever they, you know. There that one goes. Wherever they mind it. Because here it looks like a stone. I think it's just part of the stone. I don't think that's vertigree. I'm sure they probably, like I said, they put acid on it to eat away the stone. I'm sure it doesn't get everything. And green is kind of a common mineral color to find our own copper. I think malachite. Malachite is a copper mineral. As is azurite. It just says, hey, apathy. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> hey, I do see it now. And that's funny. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, and these are the little pieces. Good grief. I might have to lot some of these up together. That's so cool. God, or a pendant? Yes. Or earrings. That would be so cool to turn into earrings. Oh, man. And they were like, they're pretty, you know. Hey, Gary. Hey, Gary. They're pretty uh, durable, you know. This isn't that fragile. So you could probably wire wrap them or put them put them on earrings or something pretty easily. Thanks for stopping in and saying hello. I'm just unwrapping some copper. Nothing crazy to see here. Oh, and here's some more little ones. God, it's so pretty. I might have to do that. I might have to do the earring thing or something. These are just too dang cool not to do something cool with them. Right? There's a ton. I got a ton of these. I didn't realize how many I had. Oh, that one's got some. That one's a little weightier than the other ones. Looks like someone took coral and encased it in copper, doesn't it? Broski! Woo! Alright, let's pile those over there. I think that's, that's all that. Stack that up yonder. All right, now these, I believe, all is well. 
Well, that's good. Ah, Jay's here. Jay, I haven't seen you in a minute. How are you, how are you doing? All right, so these are actually petrified wood palm stones. Aren't those gorgeous? Also known as agatized wood. Basically, the wood material breaks down and is replaced by agate. That's how petrified wood is made. So when it replaces it, sometimes it leaves a lot of the patterning in there of the wood, which is pretty cool. And there's some there's some sparkle on this one, actually. Some little tiny druses sparkles in there. And those crevasses. All right, don't mind my drying. Oh, man, I hate when they tape them shut. <laughs> I critique that. If you guys have gotten packages from me, you're probably laughing at me that I'm getting what I deserve since I like to tape the crap out of people's things. I've been better about that, though. Look at this one. This one's gorgeous. Just controlling budget. Hey, there's nothing wrong with budget control. I have a problem with that myself. I've got a, I've got a rock bottom problem. Prayers do work this right. Alrighty. Let's see how this one looks. I'm liking these so far. Those are very pretty. And they're sizable. Like sometimes I buy this this source I'm very happy with. I'll just tell you it's out of New York, this um, wholesaler that I get stuff from. Sometimes I buy palm stones and they are so they're they're tumbles. I'm like, mm, this doesn't really count, but okay. These are these are palm stones. Look how gorgeous. God, they feel they feel awesome. They feel amazing. That's something too about palm stones that I like is the weight to them. And I like things in the quartz family because they they polish so well. They just feel have like a really nice feel in your hand. All right, what else we got? Okay, I don't remember that is, but there's some more palm stones to get to. So let me open those bad boys real quick. Yes, they do. They're so smooth. Okay, here's another one. This looks similar to that last one. Slightly, slightly different in color. This guy here reminds me of that one, that first one. See, the size is so good. Ooh, little. Okay. Two more. Let's open the other one. And then I got one more box. I'm going to have to pick. Ooh, there's two in this one. See, okay, so this is, I would not consider this a palm stone. That's really small, right? I mean, compared to this. See what I'm saying? It's like a quasi palm stone. Ooh, there's a little jersey in it, though. I like that one. See up in the top there? Gorgeous. Okay, let me show this one while the camera is focusing. Or not. Or not. God, it's so pretty, though. I really like petrified wood. It's a really good material. Ooh, 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 ooh. Dropping my scissors in my lap. That's a good thing to do, huh? Keeping the tape companies in business. Facts. Especially that packing tape. I buy like 12 pack rolls of packing tape. It's the economic thing to do. And man, do I go through it. Oh man, yeah, that Labradorite is spectacular. I was not even gonna be sad at all if he didn't sell. This is cool, it just has like the, you can see the actual wood grains in there. See what I'm saying? Sometimes I get that way all with like material. I'm like maybe it won't sell and I'll get to keep it forever. Those are always the things that sell, which I guess isn't a bad thing, because that's the name of the game is selling and not hoarding, which I am starting to do. I want to have, oh, tell me if you all would be receptive to this or not, um, a hard goods sale, like just hard goods, because I was selling hard goods on eBay for a long time before I started this channel. Oh, these. Oh, God. Yeah, these. Um, 
and I need to get this stuff out of my cabinet. I don't want to deal with hard goods anymore, so I want to get rid of it. And if I don't sell it, I'm just going to donate it. Oh, baby. Yes. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to keep one of these. All right, so this, I'm going to have to do some research on if this is actually jade or not, but it was listed as dendritic jade. It's a really, really pretty light, like smoky green color. And then it's got these gorgeous inclusions in them. Look at that. Look at that. It's awesome. That is a stunning material. Let me clear some space on the table for those bad boys. It's like mint chocolate chip ice cream is the best I can describe that as. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. All right. How's your brother doing after surgery, Elizabeth? And his slip and fall. I just can't imagine. Ooh, this one's awesome, too. God, these are all so cool. I'm eyeballing which one I want to keep. I'll have to look at them all side by side and make a decision. You would buy hard goods for me? Okay, that's good to know. Because I know a lot of you actually do resell hard goods, but... Like, just looking over at my cabinet, I have some vintage glassware, um, some vases, I've got some depression glass plates, I've got salt and pepper shakers, there's like a little vintage 50s rabbit statue thing. I have an airplane, like a copper airplane. I don't know if I'm going to sell that one yet or not, though. Hershey's Kiss mugs. There's like a planter over there. I mean, it's just, I'm just looking at my cabinet. I have more stuff over the side. I have some purses, shoes, a picture, like a painting. Actually, no, that frame I was going to keep. Uh, I don't know. Random stuff. Random stuff. What? They all cut back negative? Does that mean he, he didn't have cancer in the first place? So just some sort of benign thing? That would be amazing. That's gorgeous too. Ooh, it's, ooh, it's like highly reflective there for some reason. I wonder why it must be a different material in there that took the polish differently. See that? Interesting. Yeah, I'm like shrinking my categories down. I should probably expand them again. And here's the thing, I was going to stop doing eBay altogether because I didn't feel like dealing with the whole money changing thing and uploading all my new information and all this. So I've been in debate. I didn't feel like giving my bank account to yet another facility, which would be eBay. And then I've heard now they're holding money before people get goods. I don't like that. Um, and then I got the notice the other day that I have become a top rated seller. Now I have the little like thing next to my, like the badge next to my name and all that. Like I would get that now that I'm trying to like quit the game off. Huh? So I feel obligated to, you know, upkeep things. Okay. Now that's just like a light. Sometimes there's light oils on these to just kind of polish them up a little bit. Here's the last one. Oh, look at that spot right there. That's awesome. <laughs> it's saying it's a unicorn. Well, hey. Oh, good. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Wow. You cannot ask for anything better than that. That's that's awesome news. I guess they're just going to like, keep an eye on him, basically. So he's not going to have to do radiation or anything then. That's incredible. What kind was it, Elizabeth? Like, what kind of cancer? There's the last one. That one's cool, too. Lots more, like, stripes on there. That's really pretty. Good. Okay, and that was the last of that. So let me move on to the giant ass box. <laughs> Sit next to me. Actually, let me move these palm stones. Woo! 
I'm gonna break my wind chime. Oh, in case anybody wasn't here earlier, let me show these super duper quick. Because I think Elizabeth was the only one who saw them. I've got a few of these wind chimes available. They're on like a wood. This one's getting tangled. See, I don't want to untangle any of the other ones. Would be really, really lovely in a window. Backlit, like I you guys can't see. But it's really pretty backlit. And when this one's got Druzy in it. Oh goodness, I like that. And they sound pretty. Anyway, I just want to show that really quick. I'm going to do one round of chemo. Oh, okay. Okay, gotcha. Cause like my my dad, when he had his cancer, they had um biopsied his lung because he had it in his lungs but it wasn't lung cancer it was renal cancer but I, so i just didn't know if it was like and i can't remember the name of it sarcoma something or other i don't know i don't know anyway so let me get more of this at the table move 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 fancy pinks hello did you miss anybody else Michelle, I just, I just ship. well, I didn't ship it yet. That's after I get it off here, I'm heading to the post office. Michelle, your package is ready to ship. I don't remember who else. Oh, and by the way, Miss Sally, um, I might have to ship that amethyst by itself. I think I might be able to fit like a couple smalls in there. So I'm leaving the box open for now. But that thing is big and it takes up basically the whole box, especially to try to get some cushion cushions around it. Uh packing peanuts, ew. I hate when they do that. Yeah, I don't like that either. And that screwed me. Um, not not as a seller, but as a buyer. I bought from someone on Poshmark and it kept sending me these notifications like, let us know when you get it. Let us know when you get it. I was like, okay, fine. I'll let you know. I got it. I checked it as like verified received or whatever and it was a sterling silver lot well it was like three or four different pieces and only one or two of them were actually sterling so i went back to try to contact the buyer hey brandon welcome in um and i couldn't it wouldn't let me it said i had already like finished the transaction so i was just shit out of luck i got stuck with you know jewelry that wasn't even real i was none too pleased about that anyway uh let's see Oh, and there's my big warning. Very important. It says like, it's like, check your stuff now. You have five days. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I know what this is. Ooh, it's snowing. Nope, it's just freaking styrofoam pollution in the load i hate these despise packing peanuts despise perla hey how are you shungite shungite all right now the thing i like about these people is they label the the suggested retail price which i can totally get behind usually that's pretty really spot on oh my gosh this thing is a beast Bam! Check out this giant, huge old chunk of shungite. Shungite. Uh. <laughs> it's so big. I think this is 100 millimeters, which is like about four inches across. Huge. I got one of these. I got some smaller ones too. So if you guys are into shungite, you're in luck. I have a few pieces. Let's see. 96 that sounds about right price wise so that's i guess that's going to be about how much that is we need t-shirts i can make that i can do that oh my gosh it's like a bocce ball all right what else we got in here who else came in what else i got we are all stone junkies back Oh, these are the stands. These are the stands. Stands. Oh, those are the stands. All right, let's see. Let's see how they look. Uh, it's probably going to need batteries, right? Okay, but I can still bust one open and look at it. And then I'll have a functioning one on Monday. Some merch from me. Would you guys buy merch? All right, well, 
It's a stand. It's really not that impressive because, you know, it's just an on and off thing. This one, I think they're just like different color. They just display light. Oh, okay. That's going to be problematic. I thought that there was a hole in the center of the stand. But it's, it's a mirrored stand, as you can plainly see. It's not a hole, though. It's flat across the top. Hmm. Hmm. I was hoping they had holes in them so that I could put spheres on top of them. Hmm. All right, well, there's a noodle scratcher for me to figure out later, I guess. There you go. All right. Maybe some clear. They make clear acrylic stands. I'm going to have to... You guys, I hate packing peanuts. <laughs> They're everywhere. They're getting all over my stuff. God, I hate this material. Why would they make it flat? I don't know. I guess because they assume anything you put on it is going to have a flat base. Selenite towers look really cool in this. Stone junkie. I like it. Ooh, there's another. Okay, I'm reaching in the Look at this damn box. That's what I'm trying to do. Oh my god! Ugh. Back to me. I missed. The box is three inches from me, and I still missed putting the styrofoam back in it. Because you throw it, and it's so lightweight, it just comes back at you. All right, I think this is motion gate. Yeah, def definitely is. How do I know this? I'll tell you. Shungite is a uh, single source. Comes from Russia. See the the writing on there like this is very obviously Russian. Okay. Oh, this is the, ooh, this is one I don't know if I can get. I like it. Stuck, stuck bin a rock and a crystal. Rewrite that so it makes sense. <laughs> Between a rock and a crystal, is that what you mean? That's like, that's where I want to be in my life. Yeah, the plastic, the little plastic clear ones. All right, here's the other Shungite I got. This one, this is the one I was thinking about keeping for myself. It's like a matte finish. It's gorgeous. I don't remember if I got two of these or not. It's included with quartz, though. How beautiful is that? Oh, look at my hands. Because Shungite is a type of um, charcoal. It's related to char. It's like a carbon. Um, you can put it in your water and it'll filter your water. But when it's not polished, lake thoughts all over your hands. So that's fun. All right. So what I was thinking. Oh, God, I really like that one. All right. So now my hands are going to be dirty. Heads up. That just happened. All right. What else we got? Yes. Fancy pink. Shungite. That one's Shungite with quartz. The other one I pulled out a moment ago is just polish them. They, they don't they don't leave their mark on you as easily. What the heck? All right. Oh god, don't explode everything everywhere. Oh yeah. Okay. What else we got? <laughs> Between, yes, got it. Woo! Pop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to do some tumble bags, you guys. All this back here are tumbles. I have tumble hearts. Those are more hearts. I have citrine. There goes one of them. Quartz. What else do I have? I have a couple of the Botswana agate still there. And then I've got some of these guys. I never even sold these. These are so cool. I've got the little garnets. They're like hexagonal garnets. This is like a natural garnet like how it occurs and then these i've got a bunch of uh tourmaline black tourmaline so then this is going to be added to my little uh pile of tumbles back there which is more banded agate but it's like this gray look at that one and if you like bands in your agates i just got i just ordered some sardonyx agate which is like a 
a red agate, but it has like really intense banding in it. It's got some yellows and oranges and blacks, and it's just really cool material. All right, judging by the dirt on this tape, I'm thinking this is more shungite. Yeah, so these are the smaller ones. There you go. And there should be a couple of these. Oh my gosh, that one's going to get everywhere. But it's pretty. So I'll let it slide. And this is obviously another one. So maybe I just got two smalls and two bigs. But that guy's messy. Shunkai is supposed to purify water. Water. I've never like attempted that. I've never had Shungai to ruin. Ooh, this one's got like some striations there. That's pretty. If you can tell. I like that one too. Beth is here. Hello. Welcome in. I like it. I was thinking like maybe just like a rock addict t-shirt, but then like, you know, put crystals on it or something so we all know what we mean. All right, and I've got more of these because these were kind of a hit last time. To a bunch of like little flat. Oh wow, you gotta see this one on the back. They're just flat stones, but check that guy out. What is he? Is that, the one? that is really cool. Oh, and look at this black vein jasper in there. Cool stuff. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there are a lot of fun rocks in here. There are a lot of fun rocks. Oh, there's some demurderite. I can use that. I can use that. Bye, Elizabeth. Thanks for coming in. I gotta wash my hands, man. They feel so grimy now. Like if you've ever touched charcoal, that's what it feels like. Oh, gosh. I'm looking at this one right here. These are great. These are great. Awesome. All right. I'll set those there for now. All right, what else do we got? Is that it? It's hard to tell. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure I ordered turtles. Ordered some turtles. And these must be the turtles. Okay. I'm get this stuff off of them. Hold on. There's crap falling everywhere. I don't know. Oh! Oh, there's one really, really fun thing here. It's not turtles, but it's in the animal kingdom, and I only ordered one. I only ordered one. Not of the turtles, but I got a bunch of these. April will be happy. She's been asking for turtles. Boy, do I have some turtles. Okay, hold on. Let me get this off. Goes, oh, shut the front door. Okay, I gotta show you guys this one. Oh man, okay, I'm trying to get the sticker off the front so you can see, but maybe I'll just take the whole tray out. All right, hold on, let me get the tray out. There is a really, 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 really awesome stone in here. Okay, all right, I'm gonna show you kind of the tray the best I can. Elizabeth! Okay. Lots of tar I know you got some of these already. All right. We have, looks like, quartz. This is like a straight up solid white quartz. I've been looking for this material with Druzy in it. I found one person that has it, but she's selling it so expensive. That's pretty. Quartz, demurderite. This is, I don't know what that is. Jasper of some sort, perhaps? Hmm. Sodalite, probably nephrite, serpentine, Dalmatian Jasper, rose quartz. This. This. You've been wanting a turtle? Perfect. Look at this freaking red Jasper. This thing is nuts. And then there's halite, and then there's like probably an agate of some sort, and then there's um, a red Jasper, and then there's what looks like obsidian. This is what I'm so jazzed about, though. Look at the veining in this guy. He's beautiful. He is a beautiful, beautiful turtle. Look, and red jasper is such a hard material to get a hold of. Look at that. 
this guy is the best. He's the best in the whole dang thing. I don't even like turtles, and I really like this guy. There's a little how light in here. He's pretty. You need to get him in a tower and sit him side by side. He's like really high polished too. That's nice. My towers aren't that polished. And then this guy, which I presume is a in the agate family, quartz family. Some banded quartz on there. Do you own your own turtle? No. I have, I actually don't have like any stone animals. I've got a, I've got a cat. I have a rose quartz cat. And I've got, um, I said I need to put this back in the box. And I've got my obsidian puppy. My, uh, what's it called? My obsidian French bulldog puppy. And then I've got a bunch of bears. I have one turtle. I have a turtle. It's really small and it's not technically mine. It's my kids. I took him with me to the crystal store once. And he picked it out. Oh, here's some more display stands. Okay. More. I'm not going to pull them out. Those things are really lightweight. All right. Where is it? Where's the thing? Where's the thing? Here's another random stand. Where are you? If it's not in here, I'm going to lose my dang old mind. It's freaking not in here. Hold on. I guess I'm going to You guys, are you serious right now? Ah! All right, hold on. It was, it was potentially a BTI. I don't know. I'd have to price it out. Did I not get it? Stones, Shungai. No, it's right here. Ah, it's out of freaking stock, you mother truckers. They always do this to me. Well, I guess I'm not going to have that last piece for sale. So that's a super duper bummer. Bummer. Big, big old bummer. Well, I'm not going to tell you what it was because hopefully I'll find it somewhere else, I guess. You would think that a business would not list items for sale that aren't actually in stock and then sell them to you and then surprise you upon arrival that it's not actually in the damn box. Ugh. Oh, no, I can't keep them. I'm not a turtle. Someone out there, one of you are going to love that turtle way more than I will. I think he's freaking darn cool, and I like the rock. I'm not a big fan of turtles. The stone is awesome. If that was a sphere, I'd be all over it. Was. Oh, what was it? I don't want to tell you. Okay, maybe I'll tell you. That was that was it. That's it. That's all I got to open today. Um... Let me set that over there. Let me see if I can find a picture of it. I'm so irritated right now. Oi, where was this even from? Come on here. I'll show you. I'm so annoyed. They've done this before, too. This is the place I was out of the... Um, ba, ba, ba. the uh, out of obsidian or snowflake obsidian. I bought all these snowflake obsidian spheres, and they were out of it. But they called and told me that they're out of it. Right, let me see. Oh dang it! <laughs> I accidentally hit the reorder button to a thing they don't even have. I'm seeing if I can find it on the website. And it's still listed on the dang website. How awful is that? Okay. I'll show you. Maybe. No, nah, I'm not going to show you. You know what? I'm not going to show you. It was an animal of sorts. That's all you need to know. <laughs> all this anticipation. You're not even going to get to see. That turtle is all you. Yeah, right, Michelle? Isn't that super duper irritating? Oh, well. Maybe we'll get more in and I'll have it next time. 
Yeah, right. All right. Well, that's it, y'all. That's it. That's all she wrote. I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek of crystal sales for this weekend. I'll be on on Sunday at five or six. I'll put a notification up. You guys will see. And yeah, I went fish. Lord, I've got lots of fish too. I need to start collecting stonefish instead of real ones. I, well, now I'm like, my tank is almost empty. I think I've got two neons left. I had a bunch. Uh, I apparently failed to cycle the tank. And now I'm low on fish. I used to be a huge, like, fish person. I was on a fish blog site. I did uh, beta rescue, like beta fish. Rescue beta fish. That's what I used to do. Long before the days of resale. I was a fish person. <laughs> I had, I had like a million tanks. I had, I think I made a fish at one point, all in their own tanks. Um, I think I had, and I had a 55 gallon tank that was full of stuff. It had corridors in it. It had neons. It had a beta fish. And I can't remember what else. Mystery snails. I love mystery snails. Anyway, now I'm down to one, one small. Well, it's not that small. It's a 20 gallon. But anyway. Um, let's see, just so you know, Sir Sphere of Labrador is set to arrive at his palace tomorrow. I thought you had him already. What do you mean? At his pal oh, you were moving him, weren't you? I need a new picture. I have a goldfish coming, like a real goldfish. Stone goldfish? What kind of fish? Tell me more. Oh, really? Oh, God, you guys must have a huge tank then. Raises wild discus. Man, that's not a small fish. That's not a small fish. How big is the tank that he has to breed him in? I remember one time I went to uh, I went to this guy's house on Craigslist. It was the coolest experience ever. I totally forgot this happened until we're talking about it now. I got uh, plants. What did I get? Um... Wisteria, maybe? Water wisteria? No, it wasn't water wisteria. I can't remember what it was, but in case, some sort of water plant. He was selling them on Craigslist because his tank was like overrun with it. It's like a nice low light plant that like grows really fast. I was like, that's what I need. And uh, I went to his house and his whole setup in his basement was insane. He had a ton of fish tanks everywhere. He was a freshwater fish guy but I think he also had some brackish water fish and it was like it was like a 1500 square basement and every every wall had like at least a tank if not like two tanks stacked it was incredible 225 gallon and 130 gallon wow he's not there yet why did I think you had that thing already but I'm glad he's gonna arrive because good golly the freaking mail I just, okay, let me tell you, Miranda ordered something from me, or we did, we like, we did a trade or something like that. I sent her the stone. It, I sent it on, I think the 13th is when I made the label, if I'm remembering this correctly. It wasn't until the 20th, mind you, it went into the post, into my mailbox like the next day, and it was gone. It didn't like resurface at the post office until the 20th of January. And now when you look at the tracking, it's like it went to Indiana and then it came to Washington, DC. I'm in Virginia. So like for it to, I think it went, somehow went up to DC, went over to Indiana and now is back in DC. And it hasn't been tracked in like three or four days. Maybe even more than that, maybe like five or six days. It's just like, it just says it's still on the way, but it's arriving late. Great. That's so very helpful. I also have a big ticket item in the mail that has been sitting in New, no, not in Jersey, in Jersey, in Maryland. It came from Jersey. It's been sitting in Maryland since the 21st with zero movement on it. I have no idea where it is. The post office doesn't want you calling them. So when they give you a number, it goes like, all over creation and doesn't go to the actual physical post office location, which is annoying as hell. So I have no idea what this thing is. Anyway, so hopefully I at least get my money back on it when the time comes, when it ends up not being anywhere <laughs> for another week. Oi. 
so I would have to set limits. Yeah. I mean, fish are pretty cool. I will say it is like one of the more relaxing hobbies I've had because I just like, and that's part of the reason why my kids get fish because it's set, the tank's in their room. And it's so lovely to just like gaze at fish. I'm a fish gazer. I like it. Oh my gosh, six weeks. How far was it? Where was it coming from? If you file a claim. Yeah, I've heard that too. I might attempt that. Yeah, that, see, that's the convenience about living in a place that it doesn't have to fly. Because I think your mail all goes ground. I think it just travels ground straight to you. We got tape stuck on my finger. Stone goldfish. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. I had a pond for several years of koi fish in it that were about to a foot and a foot and a half long. It was a lot of work, but beautiful. That's the thing. It is a lot of upkeep, but man, it's just so like, oh, it's the most serene hobby once you have everything up and running and and all that stuff. Ohio to Wyoming. Yeah. Head box it took. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's that's a long time. <laughs> that's a lot of travel time though. Oi. I would love to get a pond. I we have like kind of a low lying pond on the property. Apparently the guy who used to live here filled it in. It was like a huge pond and I met through like the farming community I met a neighbor that actually she lives like further down from me now she's like I don't know 10 or 15 minutes away now but she used to be like neighboring the property in one of these houses like next door and she had a picture on her phone she showed me that was of our pond that's now just like swamp land we're trying to like bring it back and we're love to at some point stock fish in it but when we get droughts it like which doesn't happen too often, but it's not totally uncommon. The pond like dries up almost entirely. It's just like marshland with a couple puddles. So we're trying to turn it back into a pond and maybe eventually stock it is the the hope. It would be really awesome. Hard to have all those tanks when I have a jewelry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see? But the jewelry and the stones, they don't really like, you know... Take a, you know, they're not like an ongoing maintenance thing. They can sit there and chill and you're good. And you can always resell them if you need to or donate them or whatever. It's really hard to like get rid of fish and they require maintenance constantly. As a matter of fact, I got to go put water in the fish tank that we have. It's like, that's the one really annoying thing is the evaporation. <laughs> you have to like constantly be adding water to tanks. If you guys aren't, you know, they don't eat much. Well, that's good. That's good because when they don't eat much, there's not a lot of output either. That was my hard lesson learned with snails. Good grief. Snails are little poop machines. They just like eat constantly and then poop constantly. And geese, geese are like the bird version of snails, okay? They're constantly grazing and constantly pooping. It's very annoying and it makes making snowmen very difficult we had a snowstorm this weekend. We made a snowman. We're rolling up the snowballs and all of a sudden there's like poop embedded in our snowball from the grass. <laughs> I know you guys wanted to know that. But hey, it's a it's honest hour over here when I talk. So that is the dang truth. They poop a lot. Oh, the discus eats ma massive amount. Oh, you're saying the... Oh, <laughs> oh well, I totally misunderstood. Yes, crystals don't... Take a while. They sure don't. They just need some love every now and again. Some some picket, some touchy feely time. I spy queens. Hello. Welcome to our conversation about rocks and poop. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Oh, is my phone down here? I got it. Speaking of poop, I got a new picture of the puppy. Let me see if my phone's here. I'll show you guys. And I've been trying to convince my husband that. Rain is a good name for a dog, but he's not into it. And the kids have all voted on the name Luna. They like the name Luna, which I'm not like totally opposed to, but I feel like you can't. Well, I guess you could be Lulu. Lulu would be a cute dog nickname. <laughs> oh, Lord. What's she doing now? All right, I'm just going to show you this picture of this dog because she's adorable. Like, puppies really don't do it for me too much, but here's this is the updated picture I got of her. And then, oh, I 
Christmas room the basket. And she adorbs. And then in case you guys missed it the other night. Let's see if I can get a picture of the... I'm getting a Boston Terrier. This is um, from the other day. This is like when she was younger. It's a little puppy. Luna Rain. Oh my gosh, does that not just sound like the most perfect little hippie name? I love it. That's what it should be. Luna Rain. <laughs> Never get a leg of snow. <laughs> we had about a foot of snow. A literal foot. It was about four inches. That's like the height of a foot, right? Maybe less. Three inches. I know, right? And she dorps. Here's a... I, did I show you guys this? I'm so sorry if I'm, you know, showing things again. That's the mom. And that's the dad. Okay, so those are terrible. That's a terrible video, but there you go. I think I got another picture of the dad. Maybe I didn't. Oh, there's the, that's the breeder and the, the dog. There he is. That's the dad. But that's like going to be kind of what she looks like. She's got his coloring. Anyway, I'm jazzed. She's a cutie. And I think Luna Rain is cute. Okay, I might have to go with that. Luna Rain, the dog. Had about two inches. I'm not mad about it. Well, that's not too bad. Two inches ain't bad. I would like more. I hope I keep hitting my my thing. I hope we get more snow this year. I love snow. I don't like I like snow when it falls at first. It's like really short amount of time though from when it's gorgeous to when it's hideous. Cause like you got the footprint people's footprints ruin it. Which, like, it's not so bad. But once it starts melting and then you have, like, grass patches everywhere, that gets gross. And then it gets dirty along the side of the roads and that's gross. And I love it when it's coating the trees. But once that melts, then that's kind of ugly. And one of my least favorite things is, like, snow everywhere in a bright blue sky. I don't like it. I don't think it's pretty. I love snow everywhere in a nice cloudy sky when everything's, like, muted tones. And, ah, oh, it's so beautiful. Love it. Love it. That's my favorite. All right. Until the goose poop gets mixed in. That's a fact, too. Those freaking goose. Goose. Geese. I've got a couple. They just, like, plop around the snow and then poop everywhere. They'll dig under the snow, eat the grass, poop everywhere. All righty. Okay. Well, this conversation lightning. Um, but I gotta go to the post office. So I'm gonna get Michelle's package out. Who else is over there? Gina's over there. Gina Fancy's package has to go. Oh, and I sold something on eBay. <laughs> Even though I'm not listing anymore, I am still selling something. So I gotta go get that out too. You had eight inches? Beautiful. Send me photos. Send me your photos. All right. I guess I'm out of here. Next time I'll be on, I do have a video scheduled to be uploaded tomorrow, which is going to be an unboxing of some sterling silver rings and testing them. And uh, it's a long one. I didn't mean for it to go. I probably should have split it into two, but oh well. You're getting a long video tomorrow. And other than that, I'll be back here on Sunday at five or six for crystal sales to sell the things you have seen as well as some stuff left over from last week. And anything else that might pop in my mailbox, because I don't know. All right. Thanks so much for coming on, y'all. See you soon.